In this video we're going to do three real life examples of division. So here's example one, example two, and example three. So we'll start with example one. How many eight ounce glasses can be filled from five sixty four ounce bottles of soda? You can just try and work out the problem. You don't have to write the sentence down if you don't want to, obviously. Um, just basically, and, and for all the examples in the videos, just the idea is you just do the do the problem, you know, show some work. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. We've got five bottles, okay? So uh, just a quick visual on that. Here's one bottle. Here's another bottle. Here's another bottle. So there's five of these, right? 64 ounce bottles. So each of these is 64 ounces. And how many 8 ounce glasses can be filled from all of these? Here's an 8 ounce glass. You see the problem now? So how many 8 ounce glasses, of course, is going to be lots of little 8 ounce glasses, but we, this is what we need to find. We don't know how many 8 ounce glasses need to be filled, can be filled from all this. So there's different ways of figuring this out different ways of figuring this out. One way, I guess, would be to s figure out how much soda we have all together. So we could figure out what's the total amount of soda. We've got five of these bottles, so wouldn't we do 64 times 5 and calculate that? So 5 times 4 would be 20, carry the 2, 5 times 6, 30, that's 32. So we'd have total soda would be 320 ounces, and how many 8 ounce glasses can be filled from 320 ounces total? Well, you could. What would you do with that? One way is to take the total and divide it by eight, basically. You know, and and division is 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 saying that it's saying how many eights are contained in 320. So you, you would go, uh, so 8 into 320, right? 8 into 32, 4 times. 8 into 0 goes 0 times. So the answer would be uh, 40 glasses. Any other ways of figuring this out? So another way of figuring this out would be what? What how else could we have done it? Well, we could have figured out how many 8 ounce glasses can be filled from one bottle, bottle and then multiply that by 5, I guess. So the other way is we could have said, okay, let's take 64 ounces in a bottle, divide that by 8 ounces in a glass. 64 divided by 8, of course, is 8. So that's 8 glasses uh, per bottle and then we could multiply that number by five for five bottles, right? See what I'm doing here? And that gives you uh, 40. So 40 glasses total. So that's another way of doing it. Now example two. How many six ounce glasses can be filled from a 32 ounce bottle of milk? Again, you don't have to write these sentences out. You can just read it and then just get the answer. How many ounces will be left in the bottle when all the glasses are filled? Okay, so how are we going to do this? And you have to use division, by the way. See if you can write out a division with this real life example. Real life example of division. So a bottle has 32 ounces, so just one bottle. And if I divide that by 6, it's saying how many 6's are contained in 32, right? And, um, of course, uh, do you even need to, well, I guess we could do this. 6 and 32 goes 5 times remainder 2, all right? Or, or you could have just, you probably would have figured it out anyway. But, but the answer is 5 remainder 2, okay? So the answer is, well, how many glasses? Uh, five glass, five six ounce glasses, you see, because five times six is 30 ounces. And then you'll have two ounces 
remaining in the bottle, right? Does that make sense? Example three, how many 24 ounce bottles of soda will be needed to fill 16 nine ounce glasses, okay? How many bottles will be needed to fill 16 nine ounce glasses? So I guess one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You don't have to draw this, I'm just going to draw it for fun. But we have 16 nine ounce glasses. Each of these glasses can, take, can hold nine ounces, okay? So anyway, um, how would we figure this out? Well, you could um, first figure out the total um, ounces needed, which would be the 16 glasses, oops, glasses multiplied by 9 ounces per glass, right? Does that make sense? So 9 times 6 would be 54, carry the 5, 9 times 1 is 9, and 5 is 14. So total ounces needed would be 144 ounces in total needed. And how many, if a bottle contains 24 ounces, how many bottles would we need? How would you figure that out? Any idea? One bottle contains 24 ounces. How many bottles do we need to buy so that we have 144 ounces? Well, use division. Use division to figure this out. That's the whole point. Just to try and use the division here. Would you take the 144 and divide it by what? Divide it by 24, right? So if we went uh, 24, so how many 24s are contained in 144? How many 24 ounce bottles do we need to make 144 ounces, right? So I guess we're doing kind of long division or something, so let's see. What's 2 and a 14? 7? Hmm. Probably a little bit less than that though. We'll try 6. 6 times 4, 24, carry the 2. 6 times 2 is 12 and 2, 144. Okay, so that worked out. So, how many 24s are contained in 144? The answer is 6. So the answer is 6 uh, 24 ounce bottles are needed. The answer is 6. 6 24 ounce bottles. Right?